Hello everybody, Reggie Time here and welcome to what might be the most aesthetically unpleasing video I have ever made. Um, I'm playing on one of those underground um, poker club sites. I have not deposited any of my own money to do so because I would rather put my cock in a hungry rottweiler's mouth than deposit money to these sites given all the scandals that there has been on them but someone has offered me a short term arrangement just to allow me to look at the games I'm playing these games and um, I'm getting just keeping 50% of any profits that I make if I lose then it's, it's on the person who is giving me the deal so it's kind of like a sh very short term staking arrangement just for me to look at the games no risk to me i haven't put any bank details in i haven't put any of my own money in and i never intend to either that's no disrespect to the person who's contacted me if i thought they were untrustworthy i wouldn't be even playing on the site but um given it's just a free roll then I feel I have nothing to lose and look at the games. I think it's a bit interesting for the channel to, to see how these clubs look. The tables look horrible. I'm not a big fan. I've got this on the big monitor and the screen's still pretty small to me. You can enlarge tables when the action's on you. So that's something. Um, I, I can't say I'm in love with the software to begin with, but um, I'm not in love with Skies either. And it might grow on me. The more I get used to it, the more I get good at like toggling in and out of tables when the action's on me. Um the better it might come. Um, but yeah, I'm aware it might be a really shitty looking video. This is part of the um, September Social Week series, by the way. I'm counting this as one of the videos. Um, these stakes are 50 slash 1 of whatever the fucking batshit crazy um, currency I'm playing in is. It's, I'm reliably informed it's the equivalent to 1530. Um, and the games, they seem okay to be fair, they seem okay, there's some regulars kicking around but there's also, if we go up to this table, you can click on these players, some fish with some pretty high V-pips, 65 V-pips, 43, um, 49, so yeah, the games might be good, um, who knows, I wouldn't recommend anyone depositing to these sites because there's been so many scandals if you do want to risk playing in these games um then seriously it's my advice i think it's good advice not to risk any money that you would be uncomfortable um basically losing either at the tables or just through the sites going bust or the skins going bust or your operator going busted pretty it is pretty dicey to be fair uh, from what I've told, but also what I've been told is the games are completely out of this world compared to modern poker. Um, so there's always like a risk reward involved, and as always with poker, um, oh, hang on, someone, someone already opened here. Uh, yeah, we're going to call though because of the fish in the blinds, and we're going to bet this one pretty big. Let's check through with River Trips. And we've got top pair on top right, top left table up here. It checks through, we turn two pairs. I'm just going to lead for pot, I think. I don't need enough pot. Play a limp in here. We're going to add a little bit of limpers tax to him. What's his VPIP? 47.64. Not sure how many hands over does it tell you anyway? Seven over seventy nine hands. Seems reliable that he might be a fish. This dude here has got a thirty nine V pip over two hundred and sixteen hands it looks like. So we're certainly not going to be folding the ace queen of the same suit. And now we flop top pair, we're not going to be folding it at any point. And if we go broke, then we go broke. Let's go. Let's go full screen action for this. Ready to dry flop. No reason to raise. Um, we effectively just have a pot size bet left now, so if he doesn't go all in here, we will. He has two kings, which is a problem for us. 
He's waiting to buy insurance. I'd like to get to my other tables. What the fuck is going on here? I'd like to get to my other tables. Doesn't appear to want to let me. Um, we're going to raise here. We lost there to the two kings, of course. Now I need to find out how to reload my stack. Uh, to the top up. Okay then. Top up we will. Yeah, so yeah, as you can see, um, this is very much a scouting mission for me. I'm not at all familiar with the software. It is starting to grow on me slightly, to be honest, and oh, suddenly I've got 150 big blind stack because apparently it auto reloads you for 50 anyway. Um, I'll show you around the rest of the site. I guess we got we started off with a 2,000 bankroll here. This is how the lobby works, etc. Um, if you want to bring a table up, you just oh heck, we've got things beeping at us. Um, oh, we've got two tens as well, so we're certainly going to be racing. We'll go back to the lobby in a moment. We'll play these two tens. Okay, we get no action with them. And tag a player with a 26 V Pippers red for the time being. We will try and get a fourth table going soon. Um, so, yeah, uh, this has been a clusterfuck of a video, to be honest. We're going to try and get some poker strategy in there soon. I was just trying to explain what I was doing. I won't be putting, and just to recap, I won't be putting any of my money on the site whatsoever under any circumstances. But. If the games are incredibly good and I can get someone to effectively free roam me on them for 50% of the profits, then I'd be a fool not to not to look at the games and at least you know see what's going on. What's the worst that can happen? You know, I, I lose a little bit of time by either not making money or not getting paid my winnings, which I think is unlikely. To be fair, the guy seems like a stand-up bloke, but I'm sure there's been lots of guys who seem like stand-up blokes on this kind of place where there have been all kinds of... Um, dubious business going on now this guy genuinely seems like a nice fellow i'm sure he's got very good intentions and who knows maybe if i do well he'll be willing to increase the bankroll it allows me to have and let me play higher and if i can free roll 50 and l with like decent rate back and a decent profit share then i'd be a fool not to consider it so uh, this is just very much an exploratory mission and hopefully interesting for you guys who I'm guessing many of you won't have seen this site before. I mean, I'm pretty familiar with most of the sites out there, and I've never seen this site before. Um, not certainly not seen it to play on anyway. What's this dude? I think he's got a high sweep, hasn't he? 47 V pip. I'm gonna go with the three bet here. Okay, fold to a four bet. Fold three bet. Fold four bet with the king queen, obviously. We do get the call. And we get a, what Andrew Nimi would call a favourable flop. Let's go full screen here. 32, we want to be about 25 here, don't we? Which is what we've done. He goes all in. We have a crystal clear call. He has pocket 10s. We have this insurance thing. No idea how it works. Don't want it anyway. I didn't take the insurance earlier when I had somebody... All in with just like run a run a straight draw and um, they hit it. Is he going to hit it? No, he doesn't hit it. Happy days for us. And we drag down a whatever size pot that was. So yeah, it's a bit crazy. It's a bit um, hard to get used to. This is a full ring table. It isn't quite full. These two are about six max tables. Um, but I, I think the, it has potential to be a good option for me just to um take a look at things and like i say and the free roller guy i'm going to try and play my best poker i'm going to try and make money but the fact that it's completely risk-free to me apart from my time makes me want to at least put a little bit of time into it um for the month or at least for a few days to see what exactly what the games are like at different times of the day feels like we want a bit with the ace I flush draw. Mm. 
And then we turn a pair, I think we can check and call. And then decide on the river. Right, so I expect we have the best hand here. Do we value better our eight? That is the question. I think we probably do, but not big. Like one third pot ish. Just get calls from 7x if we can. Hope not to get raised. We do get called and we lose to the jack, which is unfortunate, but maybe the block bet saved us money there. Maybe if we check, he bets bigger than one third pot and we lose more money. So I think that we guaranteed ourselves some value if we had the best hand and we kind of cut our losses, I guess, by controlling the size of the river bet. Yeah, so we're going to try and talk strategy for the next 30 odd minutes. Well, not strategy, but talk more about what I'm actually doing in the poker games rather than what we're doing on the on the site. Um, please don't forget, if you haven't already donated, please don't forget to donate. I'm going to close up donations early because I'm going to the Wednesday Club next week, which is the club I'm donating the money to. I'm going to be going there with the, with the client on um, Wednesday the 25th. So... Any all money raised by Wednesday the 25th, I'm going to withdraw it and then um, make that donation there. And then because I won't be going there for a couple of weeks afterwards, so it's going to be close enough to the end of the month. We've currently raised £95 in donations. We haven't had any donations in the last video. After this video, I shall owe three more unless I get more donations. Please do keep the donations coming in, keep me busy, um, and I'll keep making the videos. Um, I know I haven't spammed that much at the start of this. Kind of a jumbled start. I'm kind of rushing this, this 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 session out too. I need to go and leave home in around 40 minutes to pick a client up from school. And um, but I wanted to get a video out. It was important I got one out today because I'm. If I need to make 15 videos this month, I'm definitely falling off the pace. If we just need to, if we don't get any more donations and um, I don't have to make nine, then I can make three more very very comfortably. So we're going to go full screen here. A regular has opened the button. We're going to bump it up to 11.50, I think. Ah, I didn't realise he made it 2.50. And I didn't realise I'd made it 12. Yeah, problem. That isn't what I wanted to do. Had I ever seen he made it 2.50, I would just have made it like 10.50, I think. Uh, probably cost ourselves some, a little bit of value there, possibly. But, never mind. I'd like to get another table open, but there's lots and lots of beeping and shit going on. Every time I try and do it, it makes me nervous that I'm timing out somewhere but um there let's get this one open yes yeah, so i'm going back i don't want to pour shade on the guy who's given me the free roll that seems like a real cunt of a thing to do but i do want to again emphasize to people that there is these sites have a history of or people who operate clubs on this network site whatever you want to call it there, there is some pretty negative history so definitely do your research if you are thinking of joining a club definitely do your research beforehand and um, try your best to ensure you're dealing with a reputable operator and even if you do believe you're dealing with a reputable operator just put the minimum on apparently getting money on these sites is incredibly easy getting it off isn't always quite so easy so if you are thinking of playing and i think the games seem good so maybe there's like big edges to be found which kind of mitigate some of the risk but please please do i'm not saying you should put money on i'm actually advising you shouldn't but if you do think fuck it let's go and get in some juicy games and take the risk that perhaps well or, well definitely the, the sites aren't as secure as the main sites just put the absolute minimum on if you're going to play four tables, like five buy-ins, six buy-ins, something like that, it's not the sort of place where you want to be having 20 or 30 buy-ins because, um, you know, there have been some pretty, pretty horrible stories and it wouldn't be responsible of me to just say, oh, yeah, come and play on these, put your money on, trust these guys because there's been some fucking horror stories. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, Google New York Poker King. Google stick seven, 627 or something on, on Reddit. Go on 2 plus 2. There's... There's horror stories out there, but there's also stories of um, of people making plenty of money from the games. If you want to watch a decent video about this site, then I think Chicago Joey 
has made a good one on YouTube. I think it was him I watched it this morning. He he made a he did a good job of laying out like the the potential risks involved, like, like giving some background on some of the scandals, but also seeing he's played on the sites himself, and you know you can get in some pretty fucking crazy games. So, um, yeah, do your due diligence, and um, we're all grown ups. Make your own mind up whether you want to um, risk some of your own personal fortune chasing, a, you know, what could be quite a large pot of gold. I'm hoping this isn't going to be as aesthetically displeasing on YouTube as it is right now. I think the more I get used to toggling in and out of tables, um, if I do continue making videos on this site, and the more I get used to toggling in and out of tables, etc., the, the, the easier it will, it will come on the eye. Do we know anything about this guy? Uh, yeah, it seems like quite the fish over quite a small sample. So we'll tag in green to begin with and then go from there. So just to talk a little bit about the rage that I'm playing on right now. The guy has given me 2,000 of this batshit crazy currency, which is apparently equates to $600. I'm playing the equivalent of 30 in L. And I get to keep 50% of anything I earn, plus I also get 40% rate back. So, and the, my intention is to try and play for a week, see how much I make. Or maybe just at least play till the weekend, and then maybe go to scan the weekend. And then... Um, See how much you can make and then make a more informed decision a little bit further down the line. And bet our open under here on table four. Pair. It seems a pretty good reason to bet again. Two queens down on table three, which I'm going to get involved in in just a moment. We get the air cycle up. He bets a turn. We're going to call turn Fold River. That's the plan here. He checks, which is not unpleasant. Hopefully, we get to win. And there's a four straight out there. Oh, we do win though. We flop top pair and we flop two pairs. There's all going on. It's a little bit too fast for me, but hopefully. Oh, he's let out, is he? What? Why is that 14? I don't understand. Did we three bet some at pre-flop? Fuck knows. I have no idea what's going on on this bottom table. No idea how this pot got so big. I guess I three bet really small pre-flop. <laughs> Never mind, it worked out anyway. That was a clusterfuck, wasn't it? I didn't realise he'd raised pre and then I must have put a really tiny three bet in. <clears throat> He has a race to you. Depend the S9 suited with the call. Heads up. Maybe we could have three bet, but I'm not expecting someone with the green tag who's currently playing six shapes of their hands to fold too much, and I'd rather just get a feel for him before I start going nuts with stuff like S9. If he's going to be like quite an aggressive player, then. But I'm not be three betting that too much in case he's going to start slabbing lots of four bets in there, etc. We 
We are going to three bit the Ace three suited versus the regular, or someone with reggae stats. No idea if it's a regular or not, of course. But this tag red is playing pretty nitty. Twenty percent repip. Is that Queen Ace or Queen Four? It is Queen Four. And call again here with the pocket fives and then probably fold rivers. He checks. I'm just going to bet to protect here. Pretty small. Just a bit less than half pot. Two queens here. We're going to raise them, of course. <laughs> <clears throat> what a fishy opponent calls. King on the turn. I'm going to check call. I'm going to check call the river too. And that opponent missed his nine do suited, which is nice. Glad he missed his nine do suited. <clears throat> I think once I get used to the software a little bit better, I think I could quite enjoy these games. <clears throat> they seem pretty good to be fair. They seem pretty good. I'm not going to tag a player with 28 V pip yet. I'm going to tag a player with a 40 odd V pip though. <coughs> Excuse me. 23. You can go red over that many hands, sir. Oops. This bottom left table doesn't seem great. So I guess it just tells you people's VPIP, no matter how many hands they've played, I guess. And I don't know if people have the same username every time. I don't know if these tags will stay in place next time I have a session. I don't know any of these things. 40 VPIP at a full ring table. You can go green, sir. You can go red at a 20 VPIP. Mm, 31, leave you for now. Could go either way. You're limping a lot, so you're going to go green. Leave you for now. I mean, 33 VP is pretty high at a full ring table, which this one is. Uh, I think we've got everyone tagged. We can have tagged over this table. 28. I'll leave you for now. 20. You can go red. <clears throat> 46. You can go green. So there does seem to be a fair chunk of I'm not going to bother calling recreational players. We're going to call them fish because that's what they are. And sometimes you've just got to call a spade a spade, man. Interesting to see how this is going to look on YouTube. It's quite a tall video. Um, so it might look fucking awful. And it's certainly going to look awful based on the size of the tables, I would imagine. It's pretty hard for me to see stack sizes. <clears throat> and like sometimes, like before, I missed out someone had raised. Um, so perhaps I'm going to get used to when the action's on me quickly enlarging the table. So I, when I've got a decision when I'm going to put some chips in. 
<coughs> excuse me, to, to ensure I don't make any mistakes that we got away with earlier. Isolate Queen 9 off, not the strongest of hands, but certainly good enough to isolate a button limper. Um, a cut off limper, sorry. But a good shot here. Do not turn. Oh, well, and check this guy potted earlier with the misdraw twice, but um, we're not going to be in a position to check call here. We do river third pair. Don't think we're going to want to check call big bets though. So. Two thirds pot. What bluffs do we beat? Not many. Not many, so we'll give that one up. I don't know if you have any time banks on on this. Who knows? Who knows? I guess we can just let our timer run out on one table and see what happens. Try and isolate. Oh, I thought he'd limp too. He hasn't, so that means my isolation raise is too big. Or bigger than I wanted it to be anyway, but never mind. Might work out still. Hasn't worked out yet. We can see that quite small on this board. Five, whatever the currency is, seems reasonable. And it works. Take it down.
Uh, total hands, total games. I wonder what that means. Total hands and total games. Oh, that means I played in five different games. So I see. So I was reading it wrong earlier. So this guy is 27 over 12. That was 123,000 hands. So we're going to mark him as like a purple, slightly more loose regular. Twenty-eight over sixty thousand again. He can go, Mr. Purple. He can also go, Mr. Purple. How much you see? How many hands people have got rather than fucking games played, which I was looking at earlier, which is a bit bonkers. Thirty-one of eleven thousand. That is pretty loose for a full ring player, but we'll do that colour anyway, just in case it's mixed. Of, I guess it's going to be a mix of six max and full ring. So, given that we know more about our opponents than we deserve to know, hopefully we'll be able to tag players pretty quickly. Ace Queen here, multi way. No back doors, it's just going to be a check. And we're going to just keep checking. If we're allowed to, fold if we get led into. I'm going to keep trying to tag players. 6,000 hands, 13 V pip, that is mega knit. So you go yellow, even though it's full ring. And 61 over that many hands, you are going to get the light blue tag, sir. Anything over 50 V pip deserves the light blue tag. This guy is majorly loose. Do I want to commit 50 blinds pre versus this V pip? Because if we three bet, we have to get it in. And I think we do. I'm going to try and isolate the dude. Ah, we get the cold four bet coming in. Sadly, he's got a stack size which dictates we're going to have to do. Oh, multi way action. Uh, so we've committed. Let's have a look. Yeah, we're getting like nearly three to one on our money. I doubt we're good. But um run up against Ace King and nine seven. How'd you get rid of this shit? I wanna get back to my tables, please. It's not letting me. Which is very unfortunate because I'd really much like to um oh, we've lost to this dude's nine seven, which is unfortunate. And I can't get to any of my tables because this table's just fucking Ah, I could just have minimized the fucking thing, couldn't I? I guess. So did we win a side pot there? I don't even fucking know. I don't even know if we won a side pot there or not. I, th I think we maybe did, but I'm not sure. Nine eight suited, pretty loose under the gun, but we do have a fish in the small blind. So it's a chance we'll take. There has been very little three betting in these games. That I've seen so far, although we do get three bet by the maniac. Um, right, we get three bet by this dude, and he call calls. And again, we're just getting too good a price with this hand to fold. Um, sadly, we do not improve, so the adventure is kind of over before it's begun. I think this is a dude who beat me earlier with the same hand. He, had, he got the 9-7 off all in pre-flop earlier against me. Oh, sorry, all in the flop 
when I had, I think it was a pair of jacks on a queen high board. And um, you just did running straight. Is that an ace queen? Oh, that's a queen four. So I'm going to play for another 10 minutes and wrap it up. No idea from winning or losing. If I'm winning or losing, it's going to be to a small number either way. And it feels like we haven't run the best. Well, yeah, small sample. I mean, how many hands have I played? 276 hands. Bring this table up in glorious technical for now. Oh well, second time that dude's limp world did on us. Those pocket eights, because of his stack size, I think we had no choice but go with it given he'd put what was clearly dead money in the pot. If we think we're coin flipping against his range and this dude's just flip throwing like 50 blinds of dead money in with like 9, 7 off and the likes then I'm happy with the call. Not happy we lost of course but I think the call's reasonable. If we had a bigger stack then of course um, it would have been different but this guy's just contributing so much dead money there we kind of have no choice once he comes in when he just does that if he folds then we probably just fold but yeah yeah we have no choice disappointed with the outcome but totally on board with with what we did Over limp threes. So we can flop a set. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. No sets today, Reggie. Well, no sets this hand anyway. I don't even know if these sets are worldwide or not. I mean, I believe some of them have US players on, so maybe this isn't the best time of day to play. I look forward to see how the games look around midnight tonight UK time see if there's more tables running see if the games are looser I mean the games certainly don't seem bad that's for sure but um, they don't seem as splashy as I was initially led to believe either Not in the cutoff.
tend to feel more comfortable with the software as the session progresses. It was a bit awkward at first, but not didn't feel super user friendly. But um, yeah, I played on worse. Odd looking though, very odd looking. Felt fast at first, doesn't feel too fast anymore, felt like it was almost overwhelming. But a lot of that could just be unfamiliarity with the site, etc. Hello ladies! Is there action on me somewhere else? See these beeps like no, it's beeping at me. Does that mean there's action on me and then it just doesn't appear to be? Sets seem hard to find. <clears throat> need to get better at spotting fours. So I need to get better at spotting. Mistaking fours for aces isn't what we want to be doing in life. So we'll play around to our blinds. Looks like there isn't a sit out next blind option, so I'll just have to be aware of when I'm due to be in the blinds. Well, I wasn't what I wanted to do, was it? Get off, get off. It's king, that feels like a hand we want to play. So we're going to be exiting this table now. We want to be isolating this table. 
And we completely whiff the flop with very little backdoor interest. Well, I think we're probably obliged to take a stab. We do get called and we are not going to continue. One more hand on both tables. Then we'll do the tally. If I had to guess, it feels like we've lost a little bit. Although I did win just a little bit before I started recording. So that's going to be fold and exit. And this is going to be a raise, of course. And that's going to be exit table. Ah, we actually won 71, whatever 71 is. It's almost a buy-in, isn't it? It's like 70% of a buy-in. Which, you know, given we were fumbling around a little bit with the software, not really sure what was going on. I'll take that as a, as a, like a, first mission so i hope you guys have enjoyed seeing the site as i said if you do consider joining one of these sites please 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 do your due diligence and be aware that they are nowhere near as secure in many ways as the main sites so there's a lot more risk to playing on these sites and it's your choice to make whether you decide to go there for the better games um but yeah hope you've enjoyed looking at it i certainly enjoyed looking at it um take care everybody and we'll see you again soon Bye-bye for now.